you're like an idiot. I was like, oh. no, no, that was me. I, I guess my app wasn't updated. So thank you for your patience, but we made it. We made it. Okay. Hi, Joshua. Welcome to Vionis Live with you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah. My name is Emma. It's so nice to meet you. And I'm, um, I'm thrilled that you're joining us today. So I think we should just go, go, because people already waited for Boom, a lot of minutes. Boom, let's do it. So since Vionge is a Danish youth magazine, I think we're going to start off with a little language extra exercise. Would you be up for that? Let's do it. Great. Okay. First of all, have you even heard of Denmark? I have heard of Denmark, yes. <laughs> okay. That's perfect. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. So I'm going to teach you some Danish. I'm going to teach you how to say, hi, my, my name is Joshua Bassett. Very easy. Great. Okay. So, hi. Hi. Mit. Say it again. Mit. Mit. Noun. Noun. Er. Er. Joshua Bassett. Joshua Bassett. Yes. Can you say that? Hi. Can you walk? Mit, can you hold my hand? Do it again. Y yes, I'll hold your hand. <laughs> hi. Mit noun. Hi. Mit noun. Er. Er. Joshua Bassett. Joshua Bassett. There we go. We did it. Wow, yes. Thank you. Perfect. You did actually, you, you did well. Um, thank you. Well, I did the so bare minimum. Yes. Now that this uh, little language exercise is done, I think it's a place for us to dig into what you're really here for. And that is to talk about your music and your career. Um, the first time I personally heard you sing was in a high school musical, the musical, the series. And for me, you're like this gener generation's Troy. Um, how has it been being a big part of this big thing that is High School Musical? Yeah, it's super special. I mean, it's it's awesome that the same producers from High School Musical like picked me. You know, that's kind of weird to think about. Um, so it was super, you know, it, I mean, the whole cast is really special. And I think that that's what's so cool about this project is as much as it's, the you know, in the High School Musical family, because everyone is so amazing and so iconic in, in the series, it kind of can stand on its own two feet. So it's it's just a, a pure joy to be a part of such a wonderful cast and such a wonderful show. And um, I'm super grateful for all of it. Yeah. It's uh, it's really nice to watch. It's just a very a cool show, I think. And uh, season two is just around the corner. And I heard a little birdie tell that it's quite different from the first season. Um, what can the fans expect? Yeah, I think the cool thing about this season is we have room to do more. Like we, we do more singing, we do more dancing. Um, you know, a lot of the, uh, the entire cast really gets an, its spotlight when in the first season, you know, we, there's a lot of like establishing stuff, but now that we've all gotten established as characters, you get to really dive into more for each person. So, you know, everyone gets their, their moment this season and it's just, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I'm so obsessed with this season. I keep saying season one walked so season two could run and that's the Yes. Truth. And <laughs> that's perfect. I think a lot of people are on here today is, are very excited for season two. And I, I know I am. So um, it's going to be awesome. Um, I'm sure of that. Um, what has this experience in general brought to you? Uh, I mean, both professionally and personally. W sorry, like what is the... Like uh, being a part of High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been the best. Like it's truly the best. I mean, the, the cast is really such a wonderful, supportive uh family and um you know being with them throughout this entire experience is what's made it so special um but it's i mean it's changed my life in so many ways um and in the same way i'm still just the same same old guy so you know it's interesting yeah that sounds lovely it, it, like i mean i could imagine being a part of a huge thing like that is like i mean i me myself i dreamed of being a background dancer or something so it's hmm. pretty cool it's really yeah cool. I mean, I, I did background, uh, like, a lot when I was really young. Like, from age, like, seven to, like, I don't know, oh, wow. 13. I did lots of, like, commercials and background stuff. So I definitely know, like, what that's like, too. So it's kind of cool to, like, be, yeah, have have done it all. Yeah. And be the center stage now, kind of, like, with all sure. the rest of the crew. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to talk about your music now. I think uh, you're about to new release new music, and your EP is coming out on Friday, right? That's right, it's Friday. That's pretty exciting. Woo! <laughs> we already heard your single, uh, like hit single, Lie, 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 and Only a Matter of Time. What can the fans expect of your new upcoming EP? 
Yeah, I mean, people who've been following my Instagram for a while are going to see a lot of stuff that they uh, recognize. I mean, I started posting recently, like, those clips from when I recorded them, like, years ago. But, um, you know, I think each song tells its own story and is very unique in that way. And, uh, you know, I kind of have my hands all over the whole project. And I think people will be able to hear that. And, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm, that's it. I'm just super stoked. I mean, I can tell. I think the fans can tell as well because you put out small teasers on your on your Instagram so people can listen to it. And I mean, I heard some of the songs and they're pretty cool. And I like I actually love Lila Lila the best. The hook is really cool. Thank um, you. Yeah. yeah. Um, what is your when we're talking about the, the songs in the EP? What is your favorite song from the EP? That's a great question. It's truly changed all the time. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, man, I really love Sorry. And then sometimes I'm like, I can't stop listening to Heaven Is You. Uh, only a matter of time is is a favorite of mine, just because of like how real and raw it is. It's the first time I sang like falsetto on anything, so that was a challenge, but um, an exciting one. Uh, yeah, I mean, do it all again also has a special place in my heart. Uh, telling myself is also kind of a banger, so I don't I don't really know how to answer that. I I really do love them all. It depends on the time of day. How's that? That's perfect. Like it's yeah, it follows your mood in a sense. Yes. Like, yeah. Perfect. I have heard a lot of people comparing you with singers like Shawn Mendes and some even wrote somewhere on the internet that they that you reminded them of a young Justin Timberlake and for me I think it's the curls obviously uh, <laughs> and uh, how do you feel about these comparisons and uh, who are you inspired by? Yourself? I mean that's awesome that's great I mean I, I love Shawn Mendes and, and Justin Timberlake I mean Sean Mendes' albums were like, I was listening all the time to those when I was younger. He's he's only a couple years older than me, but he's definitely been um, a huge role model for me. Uh, you know, Ed Sheeran is a huge one, um, someone I look up to a lot. Casey Musgraves is another artist who I really admire and I think is, I think the world of, I mean, Harry Styles, who doesn't like Harry Styles? Most people watching this are probably rolling their eyes because I say Harry Styles every other sentence at this point. But um, yeah, just to name a few. I don't, I mean, I don't think anyone blames you. I mean, Harry Styles, like, I mean, so I get yeah. it. I totally get it. Um, okay, so prior to this interview, we reached out to many of our lovely readers and they sent in their questions for you. And there's one specific question a lot of fans are curious to know more about. And I think you know where I'm going, but your song, La La La, has been pinned out to be a, about a specific special someone by the fans and people on the internet in general. What I like to get into is this, how does this whole thing affect you? You put out your single and within the blink of an eye, uh, you and the other people involved are like a huge internet drama topic. Um, how did it make you feel like, how, how did it affect you personally and mentally? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think the thing to keep in mind really is to just not take it personally, which is tricky because it feels so personal. When you make it, it's personal, but when you put it out there, it's it's everyone else's at that point. I think that's the other beauty of, of art is like, you know, I'm telling the truth in my story, which by the way, that's not, I wrote the song two years ago. The thing people are assuming is ridiculous, but whatever. Yeah. I, I, I was honest in the song and I have to leave it at that. And I, all I can hope is that people listen to the song and like apply it to their own um, lives and, and you know, it, it's honest for them. Uh, but you know, I, again, like that's just the name of the game is you really can't take it personal because it's not personal. It's not just like, Oh, don't let it get to you. It's like, it, it really isn't, isn't personal. It's everyone's experiencing their own things with their own emotions and their own life experiences behind them that they're viewing it through that lens. And so you have to remember that. And even if somebody hates you, hates your guts for no reason, you have to remember, it's like, it's not you. And, and also remember like, you know, they're probably going through something or they probably went through something. So uh, in terms of like mental health with all of it, I think I've always had a healthy relationship with social media in terms of not really going on it. Um, so I, I, you know, it's, it, you kind of just got to take it a day at a time and, and not take it too seriously. Uh, outside of all drama, but you know, even if they don't, I'm still proud of what I made. And you should be. I think that it's, it's um, I think it sounds like you have, a, as you just said, healthy relationship with the media. And, 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 and yeah, I think that's the most important thing that you can stay sane in this insane world. Yes, um, yeah. exactly. That's the right. challenge. Okay. Um, let's go to, through some more questions. Uh,
I don't know. I, I thought I was I was gonna do like Basset Hound or something like that, but I don't know, man. I I, I don't have a. Uh, but if you have to have... pick one, I think people are curious. I know they want me to pick one. I don't know. Everyone's got to vote. Maybe I'll do a poll. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram poll. I or think something. you should. I think you yeah, should. I, I was like, I wish you would say Basses because then I would say like this interview baptized the Bassets. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. I just really hoped, but it's fine. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I'll get back yeah. to you on that one. Perfect. Then Mel asks, what are some of your biggest insecurities when it comes to music and acting and how do you overcome them? Wow. Uh, I think the only way you can be insecure is if you aren't being honest. I think that's the key. So I think anytime I'm not being honest with myself, that leads to insecurity. So whether it's like, you know, let's say I'm, I'm recording a song and I'm playing the guitar and it sucks, but I'm like not able to face the fact that I'm just not, I haven't practiced enough or I'm not good. Like, you know, then you listen back to it and you get all insecure and you're like, it's not good, but it's like, you know what's really going on you just kind of got to be honest with yourself uh and evaluate yourself honestly i think that's the thing i'm still trying to learn how to do um and again like if i am honest in a song and somebody hates that song it honestly doesn't affect me because i'm like well i was telling my truth in that song and i'm gonna leave that be and whatnot but if you're like trying to be somebody else and people don't like you then that's game over i mean you know even if people do like you and you're somebody else that doesn't really last forever you know so um it's important to just be honest and the insecurities will come. But I think the most important thing is that you remain centered and keep walking forward when those insecurities feel very big, they can, they can really like overpower you. But again, you just got to keep your head up and keep walking forward. Well, I think Mel, Melanie, I think uh, you got a great answer um, right there. Thank you so much. Um, Samina asks, do you have any upcoming projects after the EP? Can you give us a hint? No hints, but yes, there are projects coming up. Oh. I actually just worked on something this morning um, that I'm super excited about. So yeah, lots of stuff, no hints, but um, I'm beyond excited about it. Sorry. I think of people in the comment section that are excited too. So that's uh, very cool. Um, a lot of fans would like to know if you're planning to go on tour after COVID sometime. 100%. That's the goal. That's the dream. Like I... I uh, I did a show with my co-star Olivia in um, Atlanta for uh, for High School Musical, and mm -hmm. it was like the most insane crowd I've ever experienced in my life. It was literally mind blowing. So I, I was like, once I got a taste of that, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to go on tour. And then the world kind of shut down. But um, yeah, you you yeah. bet as soon as possible, I'm, I'm there. You need the energy from your like from the fans and the whole thing is like yeah, I could imagine being on yeah. that big kind of a stage. It's it's awesome. Um, yeah. Along with that question, Laga asks, if you ever go on tour, have you ever considered visiting Denmark? Of course I'm going to visit Denmark. Are you kidding? Yeah, of, of course. I can't that's, wait. That's so great. I think a lot of Danish fans would love that. So, yeah. Here's uh, a, like another question, which I personally think is quite fun, is Astrid asks, what emoji would you use to describe yourself? What emoji would I use to describe myself? The peace sign. There you go. Why? Uh, because you were waiting with that. You were like waiting to ask why. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the goal, right? Is just peace and like just staying, staying um, in that peaceful state and like no matter what happens. And having that like peace at your core is the only way to really get through uh, – to get through this, you know, you, you kind of have to like prioritize that. And that's, mm -hmm. that's so funny. I, I forget who said this, but they were like, we, we take showers every day, but w like physical showers, but what do we ever take like mental showers? So that's like why meditation is so important to me is like, it's like my mental, I can't go outside, you know, not having showered for three days. You're going to smell terrible. You're going to be a mess. If you, if you, you know, take the time in the morning to shower and also meditate or whatever you do to take care of yourself, Mm -hmm. um then you'll you'll have that like peace that like rides throughout the rest of the day totally went off the question but um that's my philosophy well there like there she has it astrid if you're listening i mean there you have a long answer Boom. <laughs> um ellie asks what what's one thing you accomplished that you thought you could never achieve Ooh, uh one thing i've accomplished that i thought i'd never achieve um, billboard in Times Square. I guess I just never thought about it. That stuff was pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. 
have your face all over like the big city and like like in the center of the city like it's crazy unreal I, wow. me and a few of my cast members were walking uh you know back when my show was airing for the first time in november of i think 2019 and we we were just standing in the middle and we watched, they played our trailer over and over and over again on the screen. And we just sat yeah. there and watched eight times. It was so funny because we were screaming and people were looking at us, but nobody had any idea who we were. So nobody cared. But we were just watching the trailer and we we're like, oh my God. So it was fun. Amazing. Amazing. Especially because the, nobody knew you. So you were like, huh? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, if you could collaborate with anyone, who would it be? And that question from Samantha. Harry Styles, need I say more? <laughs> a popular guy, <laughs> perfect. Yeah. Uh, Silke asks, what's your all-time favorite song? Um, my all-time favorite song, oh, that's a tough one. I mean, Yesterday by Paul McCartney is up there. Um, you know, Dancing in the Moonlight, I think it's King Harvest, is like, mm -hmm. a, just one of the best songs ever made. Yeah. So yeah, one of those two. Great, great choices. Um, Nov says, I hope I'm saying this correct. Nov says, reasons why you love and hate your character, Ricky. Love and hate. I've never gotten the hate one. Um, I think that, uh, you know, I love that Ricky is like super in the moment and super, you know, passionate and impulsive in like what he does. But I would say that he's maybe a little bit too, not selfish, but just self, not self-absorbed self-prioritized like he doesn't really think about other people a lot of times and he maybe could be better about that mm. okay and what do you love the most oh well that what i love about him is that he's very in the moment and very like uh in, impulsive and like passionate and and uh he goes for things like without hesitation and he just like sets his mind on it and he goes for it yeah. um then yeah the the hate thing he said perfect um Anna asks, what is your most annoying habit? My most annoying habit like that I do or the thing that annoys me the most? Like uh, the, the thing you do. That I do. I do lots of annoying habits. Um, I make weird faces when I sing and I need to stop doing that. Anytime I'm like nervous about hitting a high note, I'm like, mm, and like people roast me for it, which is rightfully, oh. he's roast me for that. I, yeah, I would say that maybe. Yeah. I mean, you can't help it. Like, I mean, you probably get rid of it when you practice. You, the more you practice, the more you're on stage, the more you'll be like focused on it. So there you go. yeah, I think it's very normal though. Um, okay. So we have a few more questions. We have, uh, do you, yes, Liv, Liv asks, do you have a piece of, piece of advice for people who are insecure about their call in life? Oh my God. Are you kidding? You think I know what my call in life is? Like oof, that changes every day. I, I wish I had a better answer for you other than, um, you know, a, a quote that I, I heard recently was pay attention to what you pay attention to. So whatever you find yourself constantly paying attention to, like maybe focus on that. Another thing for me that I look at is like, what did I do when I was younger? Like, what was I trying to do when I was really young? And I, I was always, making little movies with my sisters and I was always coming up with little songs on the piano. So I can look at that and go, maybe that's like largely my calling because it's still today, like something that I love doing. And, and um, you know, so I would say both of those things, pay attention to what you pay attention to in your daily life. You know, wh whether that's paying attention to music or you're paying attention to fashion or you're paying attention to whatever it is. And then the other thing is, yeah, maybe look at when you were younger and see what you naturally gravitated towards. Perfect. Liv, I think you have your like life quotes right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joshua. I have one question I'm going to end it with, end this interview with. And unfortunately, you have to go because you have a busy schedule, of course. Um, I think we're going to end on a sweet and personal one. And it's called it's from Rachel. And she asks, how have you been recently? Wow. Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for asking that. Um, I, I've, a beautiful thing that I've seen lately is is this relationship I feel like I've had with my fans where there are times where I've sort of had my life together and been like the, the strong one. And then there's times where I haven't had my life together and people have really like genuinely reached out and like, I'm almost going to get emotional. That's like really special. Um, but I am, I'm hanging in there. It's tough. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going through a bit of a roller coaster in a lot of ways, but 
I do think that I'm growing more than I ever have in my entire life uh, in this moment, truly. Like, and every day is kind of, like I said, a roller coaster and um, a battle. But um, really, the most important thing is just getting up, getting back up. It's like, it's so hard. Like, there have been times lately where I've been really discouraged and it's, it's been really hard to get out of bed. It's been really hard to really do anything and feel fulfilled, but ultimately like keep getting up and push through and then it gets better and it will always get better. And the more and more you experience the hardships in your life, you'll learn how to handle them better. And then the next time you won't, it'll be a little bit easier, even though it's, you know, the thing it's like, it gets better. I always heard that when, Okay, but it's not getting better. Like, how do I know when it's going to get better? It's like the, the, the most important thing is to face your life head on and learn from the experiences that you're having because they are crucial to your development. And the quicker you can learn those lessons, the better off you'll be. So anyway, that was like super long, but um, I am, I'm doing well. It's a roller coaster, but I'm persevering and that's all I can do. Yeah, that's the most important thing. And uh, please take care of yourself and thank you for sharing and opening up. It's Yeah, it's really nice to hear something that is that real. So thank you so much. And thank you. And thank you so much for joining in and tuning in with us. It's of been course. a blast talking to you. I wish we could talk for so much longer because the fans are like, oh, oh. but uh, I hope they got something out of it. I hope you got something out of it. We definitely did. So thank you so much. We at Vion wish you all the best and good luck with releasing your EP on Friday. You are so lovely, Emma. Thank you so much. This has been really great. I've had a blast. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joshua. Right. Have, a, have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.